All right, everyone, as you can probably tell, it's an ugly day today, so I didn't want to go very far, but we are out at a thrift store. Hopefully gonna find some good stuff to flip online for a profit. All right, let's see what we got in here today. Grab a basket, grab a bigger basket. All right, and we're off. And I think today I'm gonna to go ahead and focus on the men's section, which is right up these stairs. Okay, guys, you won't believe the very first find that I just got. Look at this. I'm still in the first aisle, looking through the t-shirts here, and look at this. A Marvin the Martian all-over print tee. It is one of their more priced-up ones. This one's $18.90, but that's not bad for this specific shirt. Look at that. Double-sided, all-over print, $18.90 on the old Anita tag. I am definitely, definitely grabbing that one. What a way to start the store. That couldn't have been sitting there long. They are putting out new stuff right now. They just brought out a new rack. So hopefully that is just the first of many finds that we'll have here today. And then check this one out right here, down just a little bit further. This looks like an old uh, CCM Montreal jersey. Unfortunately, there's no branding or anything on it, but I can still use that as a keyword. $3.90 for an old CCM hockey jersey. I think that's worth it. And then look at this, the second to last piece in the row, vintage Salem Chicago Bears. Oh, maybe not. There's a rip in the sleeve. I didn't see that. He's still asking 1090 on that. That's too bad. It's dated 1994 too. That sleeve was turned inward, so I didn't see it. That's unfortunate. It goes back. It's really unfortunate when that happens. I thought you found a good piece and it turns out to be a dud. You know what's not a dud though is this little Bears piece right here. Look at that, $5.90. It's a vintage one, officially licensed by Garen. I think we'll go ahead and grab that. And down a little further here, got a little video game tee right here, Tribes Ascend. It's not a huge, like, hugely popular video game, but it's still a video game tee and people like this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that at $2.90. Yo, and then check this one out right here over in the jackets, $6.50 on it. Definitely gonna be picking this up. Vintage satin, Illinois jackets, probably 80s. Definitely going in our basket. Actually, I'm kind of surprised. Today we're finding quite a few vintage pieces and this place is notorious for marking up their vintage stuff, kind of like that Marvin the Martian shirt. But uh, today the price has been pretty dang good. So hopefully they keep on coming. And actually, I just saw her put away some new shoes too. So I'm gonna check out the shoes real fast. I normally don't do a ton of them unless something really catches my eye like these guys right here. Some on clouds. On clouds are such a great brand. How much are they? $10.90, that's not bad. I will happily pay that for a pair of on clouds. There's also a pair of Doc Martens up here. What are these? The ranches. I think these ankle style ones usually go for around 50 bucks or so. How much is that? 16. Uh, they're a little worn. I'm gonna think about those ones. But look at these guys right next door. There's Red Wings, I think they are. Hello. Yep, hello Red Wings, look at that. Red Wings are such a good seller. How much are these? 26.75, oh, 26 bucks. I think these are still over $100 shoes. I think I'm gonna grab them for 26. Yeah, we'll grab them. I guess I'm buying a bunch of shoes today. Not my favorite things to sell. I don't really like listing them. I don't really like photographing them. I don't like shipping them. But if the money's there and they are quick flips, I'm still gonna grab them, especially on brand names like On Cloud and Red Wings. And I'm sure everybody out there watching this has a category like that, something that they know is worth money, but it's not necessarily something they like selling. Man, I thought I just had a really, really cool piece here. Look at this. Look at that old tag. That's a vintage Boy Scouts of America t-shirt, or uh, <laughs> shirt. And it's got all the cool patches, Chicago, Illinois. Unfortunately, over here on the sleeve, it is uh, <laughs> stained. Don't know what that is. But that tag is probably, if I had to guess, this is probably like a 1940s uniform. And it's only five bucks. I just wish that sleeve didn't have all that staining. Some old Boy Scout stuff is very, very collectible. All right, so I was walking past the polos, which I wasn't gonna go through, but I saw this logo sticking out right there. If you know, you know, that is the Masters logo, Augusta's National Shop. It's only $2.80 and it's about to be golf season. That's just an easy bread and butter $20 piece all day long. And it looks like I'm grabbing one more over here in the polo section. A little Hawaiian shirt, RJC, nothing huge there. Another bread and butter piece, 20 bucks all day. 
I stand corrected. Two more shirts over here in the Hawaiian section. $3.90, two of these rain spooner shirts. That's a good bowler for you guys. They usually sell pretty dang fast and both of these have sailboat patterns. So we're gonna grab them. And with that, I'm gonna call it here in the men's section. We ended up doing really good. I'm gonna go downstairs, check out the hard goods real fast and see if we can't find anything there. You know what aisle I always like going down? The wicker basket aisle. Wicker baskets are so nice looking, but they don't have a ton of resale value unless it's like a, a you know, like a rare longer burger basket or something. But I just love how they look. If I had an antique booth, I would definitely have some wicker baskets in there because they're just so fun. You never know what kind you're gonna see. And some of them are really, really nice. There's something else I would probably buy if I had an antique booth. Look at that, really cool old school ashtray. I come across ashtrays like that a lot and in an antique booth setting, I think they do really well, but it was on eBay and stuff, it just, it's just a hard sell. I did end up picking up some crystal the other day though. Well, it was the other week now, but uh, I ended up doing pretty good on it. I ended up selling it for like over a hundred bucks for a piece of Baccarat crystal. Not something that I deal in often, but I recognize that name. So it's something that I do keep an eye out for, even though you don't see me buy a ton of it. And now that I'm talking about it, I really should get an antique booth because I come across some really cool stuff that I would love to buy. It's just a different style of reselling and it's a style that I really want to get into. Maybe I'll look into that. Maybe I'll get an antique booth. Do you guys want to see antique booth content? Let me know down in the comments. All right, not seeing anything else I want to grab, so I'm going to call it with that basket right there and we will wrap things up. All right, there we go. Done with that store. Got a bag full of goodies and uh... I don't know if I'll do another store or not. I'll probably roll this over into another day since I don't plan on going anywhere else today. Yeah, let's do that. I'll catch up with you guys in a few days when I go to the next store. All right, y'all, it's actually the next day now, and I actually just got done with an estate sale. However, it was pretty dark in there, so I'm not really sure how well the footage is gonna turn out, but I wanna show you some of the stuff that I got. Starting with the best piece right here, look at this, the Raiders Script Sports Specialty Wool Cap. If you guys follow me, you know I just picked up one of these like, I don't know, two, three months ago now, and it sold for over 300 bucks, so uh, that was a beautiful pickup. And then we also got a couple more hats down in here. Uh, I think the next best one was this brand new Tags Betty Boop hat. I think that was dated 94. And there's a few other ones down in there. However, I also got a couple of awesome jackets. Look at this. The Felco Oriole satin jacket from the 80s, as well as the 90s starter St. Louis Cardinals jacket. I also got a few more odds and ends down there, some sweaters and some long sleeve shirts. But at the second estate sale, I got another satin jacket, the starter Chicago Bulls jacket. Look at that. That one is awesome. Unfortunately, it does have a custom name on the back of the cash instead of Jordan, but hey, it's a Bulls satin jacket. I'll take that any day. And also at the same sale as the Bull starter jacket, I got a USA hockey jersey, a Nike one, pretty nice. And the last thing I got that I want to mention was a bunch of Hot Wheels red lines. If you guys don't know about red lines, they are amazing, amazing scores. And what you want to look for is a little red ring around the wheels that you can see on all five of these. And these go for some decent money. And now that I'm done with the state sales for today, I am going to go ahead and continue where we left off yesterday with some thrifting. And the place we're gonna be thrifting today is out of the closet. This has been one of my favorite thrift stores recently, so hopefully we end up buying good stuff. And it looks like they're getting ready for the season changeover. I see a lot more short sleeve shirts and they got a whole rack of shorts over here. Season's changing, so you're gonna see the store start changing. And check it out over here in the long sleeves just had our first little score of the store nothing crazy but it's a north face crew neck gonna be eight bucks today not a huge score like i said but they get for like 25 bucks and there's not just this one there's another one right behind it eight dollars as well <laughs> look at that they're selling a goodwill shirt at another thrift store that's kind of funny and as i mentioned with the season starting to change a lot of this stuff is going to start selling a little less but i still buy it year round because people all over the world need clothing and it's colder in some places longer than it's colder in others so this stuff will still sell even in the middle of summer and speaking of stuff that sells year round flannels are a great example of it here are two different untuck it flannels not the best brand that's a mall brand so you know it's worth around 20 25 bucks but it's seven bucks a piece that's a great bread and butter item that'll flip really easily Oh, I thought we just had something really, really good here. Unfortunately, I am pretty sure it's fake. Check it out. I was flipping through the tags and saw that. If you don't know, this is a super, super high-end brand. However, after doing some more checking and looking at the stitching and stuff, 
I believe it's fake. Look at that. That stitching on that patch is just horrendous. And a high-end brand like this just normally will not have stitching like that unless it's a big manufacturer's defect. But that is a big red flag to me. It is $15, so it's not like that big of a chance if I did buy it, but I am almost positive that it's fake. If we look down on the inside, it does have like the comic strip and everything like it normally should. The inside tags checks out. Everything else looks pretty dang good except for the stitching on the patch and the uh, cutting on the inner tag right here is uneven. So I think it's fake. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it. If you know better than me, let me know because I might've just passed up a really, really valuable piece. If you ever see that out in the wild, it's a great thing to look for. However, here's something I won't be passing on, a little Cotopaxi piece. You guys know I love my hiking brands and Cotopaxi is a great one to find. It has a very big following and I always pick it up if I find it cheap. Yo, check out that piece right there. That's one of those velvet paintings. That's a vintage one too, probably from the, like the 70s. It says Ortiz down here in the corner. That thing's sick, they got 60 bucks on it. I'm not gonna be buying it, but that would be a great piece if you have like a vintage retro 70s like living room or something. What an awesome, cool thing. Let's move out of the long sleeves and check out some t-shirts real quick. And look right here, we got our first one. Oh. There we go, it's a little Fall Raven piece, big spell out on the front, gonna be six bucks today, that's $20. Whoa, and then look at that right there, incredible Hulk, it's an all over piece, definitely a newer one, you can tell by the t-shirt quality, it's not the best quality, and at nine bucks, I'm probably gonna leave it, but that's still a really cool graphic. There's a brand I haven't seen in a while, Psycho Bunny. This is actually a really good like long sleeve button up shirt brand if you ever see it. The t-shirt's probably not worth much. I'm gonna leave it at six bucks, but if you ever see that logo on like a uh, long sleeve shirt or even a polo shirt, you think it for like 20 to you know 40 bucks depending on the style and the print, but I'm gonna leave the t-shirt. Looks like we're finding a lot of bread and butter stuff at this store. Nothing like huge scores yet, but hey, sometimes that's just the way it goes, and I'm fine with that. The majority of stuff that I sell is bread and butter items, stuff that I can flip very easily, very fast, very often, and that's the kind of stuff that keeps the store afloat realistically when you are a reseller. Okay, I was just going through the women's stuff really quickly, and here's a Bolo brand for you guys. I just learned this one recently myself, and it's brand new with tags. John Elliott. I'd never heard of it until a couple weeks ago. I bought a t-shirt and ended up selling the t-shirt for like 30 bucks for a plain white tee, and this one is brand new with the tags. It says it's a beach hoodie. I'm not sure how much that's worth, but I know it's going to be worth it because that is one of the brands that I just recently learned, and learns that it is worth some good money. So we're going to grab this one at $8. And that's really something I want to mention and stress. If you are a reseller, new or old, you should always be learning, always be on the lookout for new things because you never know when you're going to come across it. Like John Elliott right there, I'd never heard of the brand until a few weeks ago. And look at that. It's already paying off because I took the time to look it up. I never stop learning. I don't trap myself in a box. And with that, I think I am going to call it for this store. And there we go, the second stop of the video is in the bag. Pretty decent sized bag too. And with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned a brand or two to bring into your own reselling business. If you did like this video, please go down there, smash that like button for me. And while you're down there, if you wanna see more thrifting content just like this, please go over and hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.